conferences back in the schedule for the first time since the start of the pandemic. In the Governor's Cup, we saw returning imports. We saw NBA caliber reinforcements. We saw amazing performances from the locals as well. But most of all, PBA fans were treated to a huge number of games that went down to the wire, especially in the playoffs. But unfortunately, only one team will earn the right to be called as a champion. Before, before we meet our winners, let us first tip our hats to the team that dominated the Governor's Cup, winning four of the past five editions of the Governor's Cup. As we will welcome our Board of Governors to join us in this awarding ceremony. First, let us welcome the Governor of Florence Port Manantel, Mr. Eric Nehola. Governor of the San Miguel Beerman, Mr. Robert Moore. Honorable Gap Chairman, Bernie Richard Clarion. Governor of the Blackwater Boston, Mr. Sidiwan C. And PBA Commissioner, Willie Marshall. We will also request the attendance of our PBA Chairman and Governor of the TNT Tropanita, Mr. Ricky Vargas. And PBA Vice Chairman and Governor of the Tenafirma G, Mr. Bobby Rosales, alongside SNC Sports Director and Governor of the Waragay Nebra San Miguel, Mr. Al Francis Chu. This team encountered injuries and illnesses to their key personnel, but they battled fiercely until the very end. Closing out the PBA 47 season with two straight finals appearances, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your runners up, Barangay Ginebra, San Miguel. And how about a warm round of applause for your runners up in the Governor's Cup, Barangay Ginebra, San Miguel.